So, we're going to walk down something real quick. It's what I call the unethical continuum. And I say this because it's important to recognize very few people, if any, start off with the intention of, I'm going to make a choice to put me in an orange jumpsuit and handcuffs. I can promise you I did not make that choice. What tends to happen, however, is people tend to make small, simple, little choices that over time put you on a slippery slope. So, let's start off with, this might be an example of not good for the customer. So, my mother moved to Greenville, South Carolina from Maryland with my stepfather, and they decided they were going to get rid of the big cathode ray tube TV, you know, this big monster thing it had, they were going to get a flat screen. And so, they decided they wanted me to go with them. I was their tech wizard. Now, at 57, I promise you I'm not a tech wizard, but, you know, at 77 and 85, I'm a tech wizard. <laughs> so we go to the big box store. We're sitting there. As soon as we walk in, my father-in-law looks, or stepfather looks over, and he sees this 60-inch flat-screen Samsung. I mean, it was crystal clear. A football game was on, and who was playing but Alabama, and that's where he is from. So he sits, he looks at that thing, and he's like, you can see the blades of grass, you can see the sweat on the brow, you can see the spit from, you can see everything, and he was just loving it. And the guy comes running up, and he says, well, looks like television, this is probably what you need, and he starts spouting off stuff. It's got a 240 megahertz refresh rate, and it's got, and he lays all this stuff on, and Bob says, we'll take it. And my mother-in-law looks at me, I mean, my mother looks at me like, Oh, help me, please. So I said, well, what's a 240 megahertz refresh rate? He said, well, if you're into gaming, and she says, well, son, we've just moved here from Baltimore, and she says, we don't even know where the Monopoly set is. I don't think that's going to be something we're interested in. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little flushed at this point in time. And then the guy says, well, I can understand if you're not into gaming, but he said, it's got all the other bells and whistles. It's got Hulu, and when he said Hulu, then my stepfather says, son, I've had two hip replacements. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> now, here's the reality. Was the salesperson acting unethically? No. The salesperson was doing what the salesperson was told to do, except for the fact that it was in the best interest of the store and the best interest of the salesperson to sell the 60-inch TV. Instead of asking one simple question, what size space do you have for this television? Which turned out to be 44 inches, so a 42-incher is what they're going to need. And they didn't need a 240 megahertz refresh rate, and they didn't need the other stuff. So the issue is not, was it unethical? The issue is, so are we really concerned about what our consumer, what our customer really wants or really needs, or are we more concerned about what is in our best interest? Ethics in the workplace is a serious matter, but talking about it doesn't have to be business as usual. Chuck Gallagher, international business ethics expert, learned a lesson about choices and consequences the hard way. But now, he shares his experience so that others don't have to. In his compelling presentations, Chuck starts by setting the scene with his own story and ends by setting the stage for your organization's ethical success. Get real about business ethics with Straight Talk from Chuck Gallagher.